Normally, at this important time of year, you would expect the Master's message to be upbeat and joyous. And of course, I am upbeat. We have been through a restrictive and unhappy period, but hopefully we are over the worst of it and things will get better as we get into 2021. I do hope that all our members and their loved ones have a wonderful time over the festive period, but I'm mindful that this Christmas and New Year is likely to be a very strange and difficult one for many of our members and unhappily, potentially, some will be suffering a lot with loneliness and isolation. However, I like to think that we are a very caring community and if you find yourself in that position and feel that you will need help, please don't hesitate to contact one of us and we will do whatever we can to assist you. Like um, most of the insurance industry, I've been working remotely now pretty much uh, continually since the end of March. And I had no idea just how intensive and draining it would be. Previously, I must admit, I always held the view that those of my office colleagues who were working from home were shameless skivers who probably did no more than an hour's work and then spent the rest of the day sitting in the garden with a drink. Now I know better. But even though every day the walls of my small study seem to close in just that little bit more, I'm thankful that I do have the capability to work from home. I know that for those lacking adequate space, it is more of a challenge to work in a cramped environment and where you lack privacy. I'm also extremely grateful that the insurance industry has been able to carry on fairly effectively. Especially when I look around at my friends who run pubs or who own shops or who are involved in other professions where it has been a lot harder to continue working and earn a living. It does make me wonder what the long-term impact will be on future work practices within the insurance industry when at last this crisis is over. I miss the face-to-face -face aspect, which is such a strong driver of the London insurance market, and I can't wait to get back up into the city again. In fact, I was actually in the city uh, recently for a business lunch, and it was so heartbreaking to see the city I love so passionately, so quiet and desolate, when it should normally be buzzing and vibrant at this time of year. Everywhere seems silent and subdued. The only place which appeared to be doing a booming train, trade was Greg's, the, uh, the bakery train. And I must admit, as I walked past, the gorgeous waft of sausage rolls almost, almost tempted me to join the back of the queue. But I was on my way to lunch and I didn't want to ruin my appetite. I do worry about what the future holds for the city generally, but I've been privy to several briefings from the Lord Mayor and the Corporation, and I have to say the mood is entirely positive that the city will adapt and return again to thrive and th flourish. And it's not just wishful thinking or fingers crossed, it appears to me to be a well thought out rationale. Notwithstanding the difficult times, we have been extremely active in the livery and my sincere thanks go to the Wardens, the Treasurer, Committee Chairs, Past Masters and especially to our Clark Victoria and her team who have all pulled together so magnificently and worked tirelessly to try and support our members. We have still tried to maintain an impressive schedule of social events and professional briefings although most have had to be relegated to a virtual platform. I'm also delighted that even in these difficult times we continue to attract a healthy number of new members who share our values and we extend a hearty welcome to all of those who joined over the past year. As I hope you're aware, during my year I want to focus on nurturing inclusion and talent in a challenged and changing world. In recent years, we have worked hard to broaden our membership 
to be truly representative of the diversity of talent in our industry. We want the unique fellowship of our company to create a sense of genuine belonging and inclusion to all our members. I hope too that you have been happy with our increased efforts to communicate with you during these tough times through the regular e-bulletins and social media. Many thanks go to David Worsfold for his tremendous work and expertise in helping to transform the quality of our communications. Hopefully by now you have had the opportunity to register and navigate around our superb relaunched website. The members homepage is regularly updated so please keep an eye on it. Thanks to the, uh, the generous uh, charitable contributions of our members, the Chair of Trustees John Young and his trustees have been able to provide incredible and much needed support to our carefully selected charitable partners throughout this challenging period. I'm sure that uh, a lot of you are already aware that we are moving our accommodation in the new year. The Chartered Insurance Institute are leaving Lombard Street and early in 2021 will take up residence on the third floor of 20 Fenchurch Street, otherwise known as the Walkie Talkie. As we've been their tenants for many years, the CII have kindly invited us to make the move with them. And although we won't have our own separate office, we will have a dedicated space there. I'm extremely grateful to the CII for the support they have shown and their commitment to our ongoing relationship. They consider us to be part of the family. The clerk and her team have done a brilliant job in packing up the office in Lombard Street and their efforts are very much appreciated. I'm confident that we'll emerge from these dark and unsettled times a stronger and more dynamic modern livery company. We have an excellent foundation to build upon and I look forward to working with you all as we take our company forward and let us hope that we can enjoy a closer and greater fellowship in 2021. In the meantime, I would like to send my warmest greeting and thoughts to you all.